The AFRM, American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, is the world's largest professional organization dedicated to medical research and clinical pursuits that enhance the quantity and extend the quality of human lifespan. The AFRM's mission is to advance the development of therapeutic interventions and innovative diagnostics that detect, prevent, and treat age-related diseases. The Academy's education and advocacy initiatives have advanced the development of biotechnologies and leading-edge preventive healthcare worldwide. The American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine trains over 50,000 physicians, health practitioners, and scientists annually in the field of anti-aging and regenerative medicine. Its conferences are sold out across the globe, with 17 international events being held this year alone. Until the establishment of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, there really was no uh, codification of preventive medicine, at least not advanced preventive medicine, uh, such as what we're looking at today with the inclusion of regenerative technologies, stem cells, cloning technologies, advanced nutritional medicine, genomic medicine. You see, we believe that there can be an end to aging. We believe that we can re achieve a level of maturity a level of seniority, a level of optimum health, and just stay there for a long, 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 long time. And that long time may be achieving optimal health and optimal performance at age 55, and staying that way for another 50, 60, 70, 80 years, perhaps even longer. We know we can do this in a laboratory. We know we can do this with dogs, cats, round worms, planaria, fruit flies, uh, yeast cells. We hope that we can do this with humans, and the purpose of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine is to explore these new technologies and to bring these technologies from the laboratory into reality to apply to you, me, our friends, our families, here and now, while we're still young enough to enjoy the benefits of these technologies. The A4M has experienced phenomenal growth over the past 17 years. The scientific specialty of anti-aging medicine was created by the AFRM when it first convened 12 pioneering physicians to exchange the latest information in the anti-aging and regenerative medical specialties. From that modest beginning, the AFRM has grown its membership to over 22,000 physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals. Its members represent 105 nations, bringing anti-aging and regenerative medicine to all corners of the globe. Having come from an athletic background, a sports background, one of the goals I always had was to be the best in the world at something. You're competing against the world, and I think that's what drives a lot of athletes. And that it's also what drives individuals in the world of business, in the world of medicine, to create something new and different that then has global impact. What the AFRM has accomplished is something that no medical group, no medical society in the history of medicine in any specialty has ever done. We've gone from two international conferences over 30 international conferences in one year all around the world. And many of these conferences are sponsored by governmental institutions and ministries of health and very substantial institutions within those nations. AFRIM was modeled after the International Medical Commission, which I've been chairman of for over 20 years. We look at developing national governing bodies and then building the World Federation. And that federation is over 176 nations. So I had many years of experience in how to build a World Federation and how to grow it and how to politically place the right delegates in their positions to help grow their own country's federation. The same thing in the profession. We have national meetings which draw physicians and medical professionals from throughout a nation, introducing them to the field of anti-aging and regenerative medicine. And then they get interested in going to the international regional meetings on their continent and eventually going to the large international meetings we hold internationally in Asia, in Europe, and here in America. The World Wide Web plays an important role in A4M's medical education initiatives. The World Health Network at www.worldhealth.net is the official educational website of the A4M. It serves the informational needs of almost 1 million health professionals around the world and generates over 30 million hits per month. WorldHealth.net is the number one internet portal for human longevity, aging intervention, and regenerative medicine. It's listed first for anti-aging related keywords on Google, Yahoo, MSN, AOL, and other major search engines. The A4M is also the leading publisher in the anti-aging medical field. The A4M publishes anti-aging medical news, 
a four-time consecutive Apex Award winner for Publications Excellence. The AFRM also publishes Anti-Aging Therapeutics, the only consecutive textbook series in this medical specialty. The AFRM is leading the field of regenerative medicine by supporting certification and postgraduate education in this groundbreaking medical arena. The American Board of Anti-Aging Regenerative Medicine is a certification and review board offering physicians recognition in the form of specialty-based certification examinations in anti-aging medicine and regenerative medical technologies. In addition, the AFRM has established three distinct fellowships, including anti-aging and regenerative medicine, aesthetic medicine, and preventative medicine, nutrition, and sports medicine. The American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine has accomplished incredible things. Very proud of the performance of the Academy, of our members, and our volunteer staff, our directors. You know, we're all in this together. We're all dying of the same disease process. It's called human aging, but together, we are finding answers. Together we are being able to make great breakthroughs, great strides uh, for a longer, healthier lifespan. Together we're building a worldwide network of individuals, of both health professionals, health educators, researchers, and together we're going to find the answers that are going to lead to that longer, healthier, happier lifespan that we know is available and is available for each and every one of us.